Today I'd originally planned to do my colour palette video, um, but as the Upcrate Art Supplies box um, had shipped early because of Christmas, it's arrived this week rather than next week, and I thought I'll do the unboxing this week, and I've moved my colour palette video to next week. So apologies if you were looking forward to that one. That will be with you next Friday. Um, but today I'm going to show what's in what is my second um, Upcrate box. This is box number four altogether. Um, I'll pop a link up in the corner there to my previous video. There was all the details of the pricing and everything on that. And I will link in the description down below to the Upcrate website. It's an art subscription box based in Germany. They ship worldwide. Good value for money. Um, the shipping's included in the price, so it's it's all really straightforward. And you've got the usual one, three, six, 12 month subscription plans. So let's have a look and see what's inside December's box. So as always, it's sort of done up like a little treasure chest, which is quite sweet. So I have no idea what's inside this. I've tried to avoid any sneak peeks on social media. And like last time, there's a little personalised letter in here. And this will have all the information as to what's in um, the box along with um, a few sort of there were stickers and little art postcards last time with a featured artist so we'll have a little look i don't really want to spoil the surprise of what is in the box so for now i'm not going to read um that list there so we have a postcard like last time and this our featured artist this time is Sonia Stegerman apologies if I have mispronounced that but there's Instagram link and YouTube link there and that's um this is the Upcrate logo the little pirate logo obviously done in a Christmas fashion this is the Upcrate battle card um, which each month there is a theme for you to produce an artwork using what's in the box and upload it to Instagram. And this month's topic is Wonderland. So that's the card for that. And some stickers. So we've got a little sticker there with the logo on. A sticker there with the Christmas design. A sticker there that says art is freedom. And... Oh, there's an extra little gift. Um, last time there was a pencil sharpener, which was an added extra. And this there is a gel ink pen with a Christmas design as a little gift. And then... Right, so we have a gift card, a blank gift card. So I'm not sure whether we're intended to do our upgrade battle on that to design a card. Quite possible, we'll see. But let's have a little look what we've got in here. So underneath our wrapped package, okay, this is an artwork by our featured artist, um, Sonia Stegerman. Uh, that is beautiful, really nice um, Christmas elf type design and on the back all the information and and like a little interview um with her which is really nice and we'll read that later but yeah that's very very pretty and we've got some paper we've got some sheets of black paper and some sheets of white paper last time we had black and craft because we had some pencils so let's have a look what we've got inside our box wrapped up in the nice festive red tissue paper this time so i can there is lots of pens in here let's have a look what is that artline sticks brush marker that is interesting. 
Okay, so um, brush tipped marker pen. And I'm guessing these look like they stick together, like a Lego brick design. We've got some more of those. Okay, so we've got one in red, as well as our neon pink. And do they clip together? They do indeed clip together like Legos. So we've got a red one, we've got a bright pink one. We have a blue one. And they are all just uh, yeah, a brush tipped marker pen. I'll find out whether they're a water based or an alcohol based one when I read the information in a bit. Have I got any more of those? No, but I can see oh, lots of different pens and I love pens. I do absolutely love pens. So we've got three, from what I can tell, of these brush markers. So then I've got Artline, Decorite. So do they? Yeah, they don't give any more information on there. This is a water-based pigment ink for decorating and writing on card, glass, porcelain, metal and plastic. Also like a brush tip, um, I'm guessing, not, well, it's not going to be like a Posca paint pen because it would say that it was acrylic, this is a water-based pigment ink, but suitable for a lot of surfaces. So we've got one of those in green, we have yellow and a white one. Uh, brown is that metallic green bronze metallic red and black so we've got eight um, of these sort of multi-surface marker pens. So we'll pop those there for now, next to those. Okay, this is my Christmas gel pen. I've got the Christmas tree design. And I'm guessing, yeah, just a, just a fine pen. But, you know, that's a cute little um, novelty stocking fella type thing. I can see we have a Faber-Castell Pit Artist pen. Um, that's a fine liner, 0.3, which is a nice size. I do use 0.2 and 0.3 a lot. So always happy to have a fine liner. Faber-Castell is a favorite brand of mine. So super happy with that. We've got a pencil, which is a gold Faber, Faber-Castell gold Faber in a B. Last month we had, I think, a 2H. B is, you know, it's a pencil, but it's a good pencil for sketching. It's it's soft, but it's not too soft, not too smudgy, but just nice for sketching whatever you're doing. And we then have two Faber-Castell metallics um, within a gold and a silver. And these are, they're like a felt tip pen, but quite a, a narrowish one, 1 1.5. And... We sell these at the shop where I work and they are suitable for all sorts of surfaces. Um, so you can, yeah, you can put them on plastics, um, transparencies, porcelain, glass, metal, as well as use them on card. So real sort of multi-purpose and especially for Christmas, they're, they're really nice. You, you know, if you want to personalise, maybe table settings and things like that, they're quite good. Um, so yeah, really happy to try those. So although um, we sell them where I work, I haven't actually tried them, but they do look really nice. So happy to have that. So that is everything that is in the box this month. I'll move that out of the way. And as a lover of pens, you know, I, I'm, I am very happy with this. So let's just move all of these here and have a little look at the description in our letter. I do think it's a lovely touch. They write your name on, you know, I know it's a little thing, but it does make it feel like it was packed for you. So we have the Faber-Castell metallic markers 
um, which yes, they work on light or dark or colorful paper and plastic foil, porcelain, glass, metal, really nice um, metallic effect. And they are smudge resistant and splash resistant once dry. Doesn't seep through your paper. Don't have to pump it because it is sort of already there in the tip. Um, and they are available in six different colors, but this is the twin pack with the gold and silver. And you can, put, if you put them on like porcelain or glass, you can pop it in the oven and make it more water, waterproof when it's dry. So next it's, we've got the um, fine liner. So the pit fine liners, for anybody that doesn't know about the pit pens, they are India ink in there, which is really nice. Um, 0.3 nib, as I said, which is, is a good one for me. It's one I use all the time, so happy with that. Gold Faber graphite pencil in B. So yeah, suitable for drawing and sketching, break resistant lead. So, you know, it's gonna be a quality pencil. It's, you know, it's a pencil. Um, the gift card. So, all right, we've got Upcrate black and white paper and Seasons gift card. So the pens will work well on both black and white. So there is a selection of 110 GSM white paper and black paper and a foldable blank card that you can get creative and design a personal greetings card for the holiday season. So yeah, yeah that is just in there for us to use along with our pens. The Decorite markers, which was something I've not come across before. Um, new markers. Very convenient to use, being ready to apply upon cap off without shaking or pumping. High density ink shows vividly on dark coloured paper, which makes it the perfect tool for decorating and writing on paper, card, glass, porcelain, metal and plastic. Um, they're suitable for multiple colour layering once the ink dries. Um, yep, you can layer them up for higher opacity. And apparently they are available in 20 colors in three different nibs right so the art sticks no that's something so let me just have a look if we've got whether they are all the same so the green one's definitely a brush tip yeah that's a brush tip as is the copper one and the metallic green. So we've got three brush tips. Then the white one and the yellow one, the brown and the metallic red are a one mil bullet tip. And the black one is a three millimeter flat tip a chisel tip and so we have a selection of the brush that the, the nib ends to try which that's really nice and thoughtful and the artline sticks brush markers um soft brush nib allows you to have wide and fine lines it's a water-based marker they're available in 19 different colors um you can create gradient effects Special knobs on the barrel allow you to clip them together to keep them connected. So um, a little fun tip that they've said is connect the colours together and use them as a block um, to create a, a pattern if you want to draw three lines at a time and say they are a nice brush tip on there as well. So that's just the information that there is there. Um, what I shall do if I can find um, some pricing because they don't give you any pricings on here um, I'll have a little look online and if I can sort of work out some pricing I'll either pop it up as captions here on the video as I go through or I'll put it in the description down below just so we can see whether we're getting value for money with the box or not I'm sure we will last time we, we definitely did. Um, so I'm sure there'll be value for money here again this time. So what I'm going to do is just take a bit of this black paper and a bit of the white paper and we'll just try out some of these pens just to see what they're like. Um, as I say, I've never really tried any. I've tried a pit marker pen before, 
but I haven't tried the, the metallic Faber-Castell and I haven't tried any of the Artline markers. So we'll just do a little quick swatching out on black and white here just to see um, what they're like. So this is our chisel tipped marker. Obviously on the black it's not really going to show up because it's a black pen but it seems to write nice. It's a comfortable shape. They're, they're a nice um, curvy barrel. So then these are the bullet nibs on the markers. And again, I don't think these ones are going to particularly show up that well by the looks of it on um, the dark card. I mean, it does say high density ink shows vividly on dark colored paper. I mean, the brown definitely doesn't, I'll say that much. The metallic definitely does, though. So, and the yellow obviously working way better than that brown. not a bad white i mean it is it's difficult to get a good opaque white sometimes and that's actually not too bad for a, a, a single layer so these are the brush tips and that's quite nice um, to get broad strokes and again the metallic showing up beautifully on that black card there They're really nice to use, they are actually. So, next on to the Art Sticks brush marker. These been a water-based marker. I don't expect to show up at all on the black. But it's a nice, um, smooth action, a uh, smooth writing action. I'm not sure how comfortable these would be to hold for any length of time, to be fair. Um, I can see them appealing to children, though. No, as expected, these, they're a water-based marker, so they're, they're not going to show anything up on the dark card. But they're very nice to use. Um, very nice. So, obviously, this was our little Christmas gel pen. And that's a really fine pen. I would, yeah, I would say it, it's like a little, um, just almost just like a rollerball pen, but very nice and smooth. I mean, it's it's quite heavy with that. It's like an eraser on the end, but it's a fun little novelty. And we've got our pencil. It's very lightweight. I mean, there's not a lot to be said about pencils, to be perfectly honest, but you know it's 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 a nice it's a b pencil it's going to get used so this is our 0.3 fine liner which i do like using 0.2 and 0.3 for illustrations it's um it's not too thick but it's it's not too scratchy the 005 and the 0.1 sometimes can be a little bit scratchy so i, I prefer 0.2 and 0.3 and these metallic markers, if we'll just take them out of the packet. So as you can see, it's, it's like a standard felt tip. And really, the gold is called Heart of Gold. The silver is called Nothing Else Metals. And they, they leave a really nice metallic effect. So we'll just take a little closer look there. Say some of these really nice. The brown for some reason just didn't show up at all 
um, on there. I think it is just literally that it is such a dark brown colour. You, you really, you're not going to see it um, on the black. But the metallics especially, very, very nice. Those Faber-Castell metallic pens, very, very nice. And, you know, bright, vibrant colours. Um, so, yeah, really, really looking forward to doing something with those. Not entirely sure what. As I say, the theme for the challenge this time is Wonderland. It's a very open um, theme. So I got until the 10th of the following month to come up with some artwork and post it on Instagram. So I hope that you enjoyed our little look inside the Upgrade box. If it's something that you think you might be interested in, do definitely go and have a look at the website um, down below. The prices say are reasonable and last time it was um, all pencils this time pens and i'm looking forward to trying out um some of these pens on different surfaces i mean at the moment here in the uk it's quite big and um, painting rocks so i'm sure that some of these would be really good for that as well i'm currently using posca pens for do that so let's give these a whirl and see how they work and really happy as always to, you know gold and silvers good fine liner good pencils good um we'll see what we can do but if you enjoyed the video as always please leave me a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and i shall see you next friday um for my very last i believe video of the year but for now that's all bye <laughs>